Geeks don't exactly enjoy an athletic reputation, but what happens when playing video games turns into an organized competition? We find out by following our friend Joe Tallarico into the cutthroat world of competitive Street Fighter. Watch out. Uh, my name is Joe Tallarico. I go by Houseface. Uh, I play Street Fighter, and we're at a tournament. I grew up playing it since I was about 11 years old. And uh, yeah, it's like my favorite game. It's the only video game I really play. I, I guess like whenever I play my friends that don't play the game a lot, I just kill them and I kind of wanted something more. So now I come here and I just get killed. You get better that way. The basic mechanics of Street Fighter are that you have two people on a 2D playing field that kind of walk back and forth and you have uh, buttons that do the light punch, medium punch, hard punch, uh, light, medium, hard kick. But you also have special moves, which each character has a different set of. You know, so you have different character archetypes. Like you have classic characters like Ryu, who, you know, throws a fireball, has a dragon punch. It's just a general good all-around character. And then you have someone like Zangief, who's a grappler, uh, who his, he's very slow, but he's very powerful. And his what what he wants to do is get in and grab you because he does tons of damage that way. Uh, I played Cody. I kind of like the way he played. I like the style, and I like a challenge. I don't like you know, hitting the win button. A lot of people will just play the top tier characters just because they want to win and that's all there is. That's all I cared about, like getting a win, not really worrying about big long combos, not worrying about anything else. I just worried about winning. Yanni, what's up man? How you doing? Good. My friends are uh, filming a documentary on like oh, sweet. What's up? Street Fighter. Yanni's really good. He'll probably kick my ass if I have to play him. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Janusz Ekserda, uh, born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. Around 2007 is when I started playing a game called uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. And that, that game hooked me. Like after that, I just couldn't stop. My name is Mark Julio, also known as Markman. I'm the sponsorship and community manager at Madcats. First getting into fighting games in general was probably about 15 years ago. Uh, I used to ditch high school to go up to an arcade in LA, which was about two hours away from where I live. It's become an addiction. Uh, a, a, a very good one. <laughs> in 2009, when Street Fighter 4 came out, I started finding out about tournaments. So that changed my life. I had uh, no clue that there was even a Street Fighter like community or scene or tournaments or anything. I just uh, one day I randomly Googled my screen name and uh, found a forum with all these people talking about me playing Street Fighter 4 online and it was really weird because these people were like this guy's a disgrace to Zangief who's the main player I play he's playing him wrong no one should be doing this I don't know how he's ranked so high blah 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 I was playing uh, very cheaply Zangief has this one move where he just spins his arms around and like I was pretty much just like spamming that just constantly and people were like that's not how you're supposed to be playing this game but it's like as time progressed it was like that became how you played Zangief this is where people kind of watch the tournament as it's going on. There's no one sitting here yet because the tournament hasn't started. Uh, Street Fighter, I feel like, is and fighting games in general are very competitive. I play in a serious level where I want to win. I really hate losing. I enjoy winning. <laughs> and it might be more a pathological dislike of losing <laughs> than enjoying winning that much. Oh, I don't want to lose. Nobody wants to lose. When I come up and I play all these different games, like, I just want to do good. That's always what I wanted. I don't want to be that person where, at the end of the day, I become a nobody because I'm not winning anymore. And that's what happens in this scene. If you're not winning, if you haven't done anything in the last few months, you're a nobody again. And I don't want to be that person. You just watching video, Joe? Um, just like matchups, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just sitting here waiting to play my pool in an hour, so yeah, Do you feel in the hotel room. A little bit, a little, little nervous. So this is an arcade stick that they use these days for playing the game. Uh, the buttons are all Japanese uh, Sanwa buttons that you can press millions of times without them going bad. The joystick is, you know, really responsive. I don't know. I hold it like this, which is wine glass style. <laughs> And that's pretty much the arcade stick. You can take it apart and put uh, new buttons in and stuff if you want, or if some people really customize them out. Uh, those guys downstairs were, you know, doing all kinds of custom work. Hi, uh, my name's John Wade, but everybody calls me Ducky, and I am a tournament stick modder. Uh, my own personal stick, which is that one right there, 
works with about 14 different systems and it has LED lights too. This is my business. This is what I, I, I like to claim I do for a living, but my day job is I work on printers. Do you have an electrical engineering background? I've got an English degree. Okay. <laughs> I'm also a retired minister. Yeah, figure that one out. At Madcats, we make probably the most used controller within the community. There's more and more arcade stick manufacturers now than there's ever been. So it's been really interesting to see the type of controllers and how people choose their weapons when they go into battle, because this is what really it is. It's, it's their weapon, it's what get them, gets them to win. Yeah, I'm just gonna try my best and uh, hopefully not run into anything too terrible and not lock up. As long as you're not like filming me in my face while I'm playing, then I won't be. We might be. What are some things that are you are you worried about? Just just random matchups. I mean, like if it's a matchup I don't know, if it's a bad matchup for me, or if the person is like completely like unreadable or like random. Sometimes you'll go up against someone that is technically very bad, but it's just so annoying that you lose. You know, you'd wish those people would just stay home, but they enter the tournament and you should be good enough to recognize that and, and beat them, so. <clears throat> well, good luck. Yeah. Thanks. The next time, the next time we'll see you, you'll be on the floor. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to be on the floor crying. <laughs> <clears throat> So I won my first match, and now I'm in like top four of the bracket. So I probably went two more matches, like in a month. So I still gotta win two more matches, though. You're gonna be on the big screen. Yeah, yeah. I have to win this match. You are. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> You're gonna yeah, be on the big screen. It's all good. How's face? Are you ready? Hey Joe. Hi. How did your um, matches go? I got to get my ass kicked on the big screen. Yeah, and thousands of people were watching me get my butt kicked. <laughs> but you know, it's part of the game. Uh, try harder next time. But yeah, no, I, I should have like been smarter about getting it. I should have been more patient because uh, I wasn't. I should have just kind of like held back and like got him to think that I was gonna do something differently than what I did. What I did was pretty obvious. Do you think us filming you? Um, affected your definitely play, your play at all? Yeah, it's horrible. Well, I drowned it out at some point, but uh, yeah, yeah, I could definitely tell that you were filming. Like, I, yeah, I was thinking about that, and that's an, an added layer of you know to add to the anxiety. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what's uh, what what are we doing now? Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of beer and play a lot of Street Fighter tonight. <laughs> So that's the thing that happens, we hang out in the hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you know, make friends and, uh, you know, drink beer <laughs> and play Street Fighter. There's not a lot of, on the line when you're just drinking beer and playing Street Fighter. It's more friendly. That sounds cool. That sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> People still kind of judge you, but, you know, I don't really care what they think. So uh, I'm going to talk about it because it's something that I'm really interested in. It's, uh, uh, it's a pretty big part of my life. I play a lot of Street Fighter. It's something that, well, you know, you have to come to terms with yourself. Like, you don't 
you know, when I meet a girl, it's kind of like, how long do I wait to tell her that I play Street Fighter, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Gatherings like this, it's kind of nice to see everyone in one place, and it just doesn't really make you feel like a outsider. When you talk about Street Fighter to people that don't play Street Fighter, they kind of think you're like weird or like, you know, oh, that uh, they know the game, but they might not understand like that there is a scene in a community that uh, that play it that are, you know, maybe a little geeky, but no, you know, I don't really feel like a geek at all. I don't know, generally. And if people think I'm a geek, then I don't care what they think, you know, it's just like that. Actually, the people I meet here are cooler than the people that don't play Street Fighter, so... I don't know, I've met some of my best friends playing Street Fighter, and I don't think they're geeks. I was always a big fan of arcade sticks. It was insane that someone would actually be paying me to help design an arcade stick for the community that I know and love. So, it's been a wild ride, but I wouldn't change anything if I could. It's the best community in the world, man. Like, just to give you uh, guys an example of how awesome the fighting game community is, um, the only reason I'm, I'm well known, in my opinion, is because I screwed up and went blind in one eye because of a soldering accident. And these guys rallied together, and because I couldn't work, because I was going through some pretty intense pain and some blindness, and paid my medical bills, I uh, paid my rent for three or four months until I could get back to doing to doing this. And, you know, there are still people who check in with me and they're like, hey, Ducky, are you doing okay? Do you need some help with your bills? You know, uh, here, here's 20 bucks, go have a nice meal. I, I wouldn't trade these guys for the world. Wow, that was awesome. I wish I would have entered competitions back when I was younger and played video games and was really good at them. I once beat Super Mario Brothers without dying, without warping, for real. I'll do it again on YouTube. You just wait, it's gonna happen. Up next, we asked you what you geek out about and many of you submitted and we picked our favorites and put them together in a geeky video. And I really appreciate you guys constantly sending in all this great stuff. You always come through. Let's, let's go to that video, shall we? Let's do it.